keep going on like this. The child mind has increased her rate. It seems like I'm just earning to keep the child mind doing her job. I'll have to get another job, which means even less time with Gabriel, or give up work altogether. But I really like my job, so giving it up seems such an extreme measure. I just don't see the point in working anymore. I'm so fed up. Well, you've always the option of asking Marlene. I'm sure she'd love the opportunity to look after her grandson. Not only will it save you money, but it'll give you the added assurance that he's being looked after by someone who cares about him and who you can trust. Why don't you ask her at least? It has crossed my mind. I'm not sure if Marlene will be able to manage. Well, look, she's brought up five of her own and done a pretty good job. From what you've told me, she's quite attached to Gabriel. Isn't it better that he's taken care of by someone who loves him? The more time they spend together, the closer your family will bond. That's a good point. I'm just concerned you might have different ideas on discipline. Look, my Nathan's looked after by his grandma. But before she started, I told her clearly what I wanted and how I wanted things done. Rather than resent me, she seemed to appreciate the rules I gave her. Yes, things were different in their day. But once Marlene understands Gabriel's routine, I'm sure she'll become a great benefit to his upbringing. Ask her if she's comfortable about going to a mums and toddlers group. Well, she might get some tips there. But she can be a bit possessive, though. That really worries me. She's always buying in presents she doesn't need. Make it clear to her from the outset what you want her to do. For example, tell her you'll be spending some time with him on your own like taking him to the playground once or twice a week, or what he should eat or not. Maybe you're right. I'll give it a try. I'll ask her tonight. Marley, I wonder what you'd think of looking after Gabriel while I'm at work. I'd love to look after him. I thought you'd never ask, thinking I'm too old-fashioned. I've actually bought some books on how to raise children the modern way, I realise how things have changed over time and I thought it best to keep up with you new age mums. Well you know I'm potty training him and he sleeps and eats at fixed times and there's also his playtime. I really would like you to stick to his schedule and the way I do things because... My dear, you needn't worry. It would help though if you could leave me clear instructions as to how you want things done. I potty trained my Richard and within 10 days he was telling me when he wanted to go to the toilet. I just want you to enjoy going to work, knowing that Gabriel's safe in the hands of someone who loves him. I always keep a first aid box in my house. Well, you never know when kids can fall and hurt themselves, especially now he likes playing outside. I can get a first aid box tomorrow and I'll get some of those socket covers and some child locks for the fridge and the kitchen cupboards. You do have to let him explore, though, so he feels the house is his own. But don't worry, I'll make sure he's safe. I'll put a child guard at the top of the stairs and another one on the front door. I'm sorry about all this expense. Nonsense. Don't worry about it. It's my pleasure. <laughs>